decadence of another kind is currently on display at the Bridgeport Art Center. The exhibit includes the work of 13 artists who use a variety of materials from textiles to sculpture to paint to represent their true selves as black artists. Here now to discuss the exhibit and how it came to be is September Gray, curator of Decadence of Another Kind and owner of September Gray Fine Arts and Patricia Andrews Keenan, founder of Pigment International. Thanks so much for being here, ladies. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thank you. Uh, September, tell us about this show. It's amazing. You have 13 different artists showing their work from sculptural work to figurative to abstraction. And it's about the human condition, um, whether there's beauty in this world or atrocities in this world, they're showing it through their art and it's magnificent. Oh, it sounds incredible, especially from the photos that we saw too. Um, so Patricia, let's talk about your part in this uh, collaboration. Certainly. I mean, you're the founder of Pigment International. So tell us about that and how you two found each other working together. Certainly. So Pigment International is a black woman founded and led multimedia platform. We report on black artists, black curators, black collectors. We like to tell the story of the black art ecosystem based right here in Chicago, but we traveled the world to make that. And I specifically remember seeing an exhibit that uh, September mounted during Art Basel Week oh, yeah, in Miami. In Miami yeah. And the art was so spectacular. The next year I took some time, I went to her gallery. I met a couple of the artists that are in this exhibit we wrote about them. So we were looking for ways to collaborate. And then we know Jeff DeLong over at Bridgeport Art Center, and it just kind of all came together that we were able to bring this magnificent exhibition to the center. Wow, in September, cool. you curate events across the nation. What yes. sets this one apart? Well, it's, it's coming to a place where arts is truly alive in Chicago. It's a great art city. And some of the artists are from Chicago. Some have done their um, fine arts degrees here. So it just brings people together. And also there's this great story of the great migration, right? Mm -hmm. Of a lot of the people that came from the South and moved North looking for better opportunities. So it's a great way to come back here and to show what's happening, not only in the South, whether it's in the South of Georgia or it's the South of France, or anywhere in the world, it's just kind of sharing these stories again, this human experience. So Chicago is a great city for that to happen. Yes. It's great that the exhibit is happening, especially with the Black History Month happening yes. in February too. So yes. loving that. Yes. And the theme for this year's Black History Month is black art and culture. Oh. So it's a perfect, oh, perfect, oh perfect thing to bring to well, the city during this time. Yeah, let's talk about some of these artists. There's some featured work by Michael Schofield. Yes, Michael Schofield, an amazing abstract artist. Um, this particular work um, oh, that's up that. now oh, cool. um, is from different artists. That's Kevin Cole. Um, that work speaks on us voting and voting rights. Those are men's neckties you're actually viewing oh, and wow. how his father took him out to vote and he didn't want to vote and he said black men were hung by their neckties. So he took the symbolism of that and turned it into something positive so as to remember why we vote, that people died for us to have the right to vote. But he takes this and, and just yeah. creates these beautiful sculptural pieces. Now you're looking at Michael Schofield. He's an abstract expressionist and this is called Orange Utopia. And it's how we expected during the last few years this utopia uh, aspect of everybody getting together and this one person would bring us to this utopian place. And it just was not going to happen in, over the last few years. So this is called Orange Utopia. Mm -hmm. Such great colors there. So yes. Did we have one of Basil Watson too, an artist that we were going to look oh, at? Oh, he's incredible. A sculptural artist. This is called The Big Six who's Martin Luther King, John oh, Lewis, wow. Philip Randolph, mm -hmm. James Farmer, Whitney Young. And these are all civil rights activists that were there organizing mm -hmm. and helping us during this time, during civil rights and giving people the opportunity for freedom and marching. Well, listen, you have perfect timing, I have to tell you. Thank you both, September yes. and Patricia. You can check out Decadence of Another Kind at the Bridgeport Art Center until March 1st. There's all the information there on your screen. You don't want to miss it.